A consensus All-American, Taylor Stubblefield brings a vast array of experience to Happy Valley as Penn State's new wide receivers coach. First off, congratulations on the new position, but what did you ultimately do to differentiate yourself during the hiring process to win this job? Uh, I think I came prepared. I mean, I think we all know Coach Franklin is someone who is about being detail-oriented. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I came into the process just dotting all my I's, crossing all my T's, and, and, and then just making sure that uh, he knew how much I wanted to be here, how much I've looked at this program from afar, and, and Coach Franklin as, as somewhat of a role model for me throughout my career. And I, I just wanted to make sure that I sh showed uh, that I put the best foot forward. Now we're sitting here in the wide receivers position room. This is a group that's overcome a lot of adversity and challenges over the course of the past couple of years. What have you been able to tell this position room when you arrived on campus? That we're going to develop. We're going to be the best receiver crew in the country. That's our goal. That's our mentality. And it starts winning every single day, every single drill, every single class. Um, that, that's, that's what we talked about. Um, I believe it. It's not just something that I that sounds good. It's a great sound bite, but uh, there's a lot of talent in this room, and it's my job to help develop that talent, and it's their job to put in the work so that they can develop. What makes a successful wide receiver on the field, then, in your eyes? Well, there, there, there's there's different ways to be successful. Um, there's, I mean, shoot, you could have a great game converting, you know. Five, on, five out of five on third downs. You could have a great game having one catch, but it was that big explosive play for 58 yards and a touchdown. You know? So um, we want to be consistent. If we are consistently improving every single day, every single game, to me, we are being successful. Our job is to make plays. Our job is to be consistent. And so we are going to uh, build that. We're going to develop that consistency. We're going to work ball drills in the off season, whether it be with tennis balls, juggling balls off the uh, off off the wall. Uh, obviously, getting with the quarterback, making sure that we're on the same same page, and also working that jug machine. But but even more important than that is understanding what the defense is trying to do to you, so that you can attack them the way that put yourself in position to make an easy catch. I mean, everybody knows going out in the, uh, in the front yard or uh, on, on, in the street, you throw catch. I mean, that's easy, right? That, 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 that looks so easy, and it should be. And you're able to do that by, ha by running great routes. Now, when it comes to working with the quarterback, being able to develop those routes and basically getting everybody on the same page, based off of your experience in the NFL and the Canadian Football League and obviously in the collegiate setting, is there a certain skill set that you can bring to these guys to relate to them in that sense? I think coaching receivers is so, you have to be demonstrative in what you, what, how you teach. That's not the only way you teach, but um, I think that if you're able to show along with describe very descriptively what you're trying to get accomplished I think that it allows you to be more successful and so um, I you know I've been fortunate enough to, to you know to play at some of the highest levels and and whether it be learning from Steve Smith Ricky Prohl Isaac Bruce Torrey Holt I mean Henry Ellard was the receiver coach at uh, the St. Louis Rams at that particular time and they just taught me some things that I've been able to carry but, I mean, I, I'm surrounded by some great coaches. I mean, Coach Franklin, he's a, he's a receiver guy. I mean, he's done it for, for, for shoot, for a long time. Uh, Kurt, he's, he's freaking awesome. You know, he, he is awesome, and he's coached receivers before in the past. So I'm just surrounded by guys that are going to have some great ideas on how to develop and how to make sure that we're doing it the best way. Knowing that recruiting is the lifeblood of any collegiate program, what do you look for specifically in a player when you go out on the recruiting trail? Uh, you know, you look for athletic ability. You're looking for somebody who can make plays, who is making plays at their high school. You're looking for guys who, has, who have a variety of, of, of catches. Um, you're looking for guys that can play multiple positions um, and multiple sports. And then you're looking for someone who's, who's tough. You, you gotta be tough to be a wide receiver and you gotta be uh, tough to be a wide receiver here at Penn State. And so those are the things that we look for on the field and off the field, you're looking for guys that make sure that they take care of business in, in the classroom.
that they're that they're doing what they're supposed to do that they're taking taking the classroom seriously because at the end of the day this you know eventually football calls and says hey I, I, I'm done with you and so we want them to come to Penn State and get an unbelievable education while playing football at the absolute highest level. Coach, appreciate your time and uh, welcome to Happy Valley. Thank you, appreciate it.